In SAC 102 number 4, we've got a bullet fired from a gun with an initial velocity V. Goes up, comes down. Uh, this here is our uh, before picture. and uh, comes back down and in the after picture it's at the exact same height as it was in the before picture and now it's going in the opposite direction but the thing is it's got a new velocity v prime which we're told is less than v so we know energy is not conserved because uh, they're both at the same level so the kinetic energy being one half mv squared is all that matters. They both have the same potential energy. And uh, because the velocity has decreased, the kinetic energy in the after picture is clearly going to be less. Let's set that up. The total amount of energy lost. Now this is what we got to make up. We start out with some energy. I'll call it E in the before picture. We wind up with a new energy in the after picture. I'm going to call it E prime. And the question is, how is the uh, amount of energy lost related to these two? Well, you can think about it. If you go to a racetrack with 20 bucks and you come back with 15, you know you lost 5. How can you put that in an equation? You say it's the starting value minus the ending value. That is, the, the loss, and in this case we're talking energy, is what you started with minus what you wound up with. My example is 20 bucks minus 15 bucks. That would be the 5 bucks. Okay. So uh, this is an equation you have to cook up. You've got to make sure that you don't start a problem like this where they, uh, it's, it's obvious that energy is not conserved. You don't start off by applying conservation of energy. It just isn't true. So now we uh, do the substitutions. Uh, the uh, initial energy is the sum of uh, kinetic energy plus potential energy same goes for the final energy. And uh, if we uh, establish a reference level as that position where the uh, uh, bullet has just left, left the muzzle of the gun. So we're right at the muzzle here. I probably left a little bit too much space in my diagram, but we're at the, the muzzle level. We'll call that the reference level. Uh, that's where uh, the potential energy is equal to zero. You your y is equal to zero for the mgy gravitational potential energy. But under those circumstances, the uh, potential energy is, is zero in both cases. So our uh, energy loss is just the kinetic energy minus the uh, initial kinetic energy minus the final kinetic energy. That's one half m v squared minus a one half m v prime squared. And I think what I'll do is factor out that one half m. So I got v squared minus v prime squared multiplying the one half m. I don't know about you, but my attitude on you know, is it simplified? Well, have I expressed in a way that makes it so I have to plug in the fewest values on a calculator if I were to evaluate it on a calculator? In this case, we weren't given any values. So we don't have to plug in any values at all. But here it is in simplified form. The uh, total